four way. Um, yeah, definitely my thought and I've already sent that out, so it's all good. Um, given that I'm a predatory cunt, um, and I use that as an in term of endearment, of course, um, it's, it's been apparent to me for a little while, but it's becoming more and more apparent to me um, that essentially the, the, the importance of my house to this whole structure is really fucking crucial now. So getting this step up into the high court ceases the court action for that. It ceases the court action for Fred. It ceases the court action for Nicole, should she start anything stupid. But moving forward, thinking of how this actually works, is that it ceases. So, so we didn't pay the three mil to Peter Von Lush out for whatever reason, or you know, he turns out to be a prick. Takes us to court to wind up the option agreement. Well, that can't, that can't happen until that's heard in court as well. So three to five years or permanent limbo is a really interesting situation because I talked about, you know, being an octopus and we latch, latch ourselves around the, the plaintiff as much as we can. So while well, they're fighting one arm, you know, you've got eight others or nine others or fucking 10 others or, you know, depending on how many octopus there are, just going nuts. So I think we should attach ourselves all over these sorts of deals, bring Gunnam in as the tribal stuff, that then ties him to the deal. If the other side gets the shits and decides to go to court, boom, fucking high court challenge. Thanks very much. And we don't even need to do a high court challenge on breach of constitution. We just need to attach the 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 um the action to the high court action. So essentially we just have a treaty claim on every single or treaty argument on every single deal that we do moving forward and they're fucked. So I'm sort of thinking from that perspective, yeah, Von Leishard ain't getting out of anything, even if that option even if he tries to, to, to force the option and go to court, he can't. <laughs> so we've actually got him completely wrapped up by uh, the short and curlies. So as long as we get through and get me into the high court with this this challenge. So uh, anyway, Zoltan's finished the documents. Um, uh, we're just putting the touches on the, the service for the other side and it's going to be ready to go to Gunham tonight, get approved overnight, hopefully. Uh, May May from Narakpal will sign it or actually sign a letter that goes with it. And then, um, yeah, we're driving up to lodge it, um, file it with the court on Friday, uh, Thursday. So there you go, there are Jimmy's. You're all up to date, our lads and lasses. Mm, wouldn't that be funny if that went through? Um, yeah, technically possible. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's disastrous for us in, in the sense of cash flow. That's what fucks us um, in every other way. Well, you know, you know boo fucking who. Um, the property's in liquidation, voluntary administration, receivership, <coughs> whatever we throw it into. Um, yeah, it's um, it just gets wound up at a fire sale. I mean, again, if you want to watch one of my skills, um, which was, you know, fucking people over and making sure as the lender I never lost a cent, um, I was really good at that shit. Well, this is what we're essentially going to be doing here, and I'll make sure I fuck everyone over on the way through, particularly Mary Lou and Nicole now. So um, our hand has been forced. I mean, what? What? <laughs> There's no choice. It's not like we have an option. It's you know we didn't want to go this way. They've forced our hand. I can see an emails come through from Melissa Hirsch. Ooh, um, yeah, fuck it. We're just going to um, go hard now, and I think a class action uh, with Morris Blackburn and those sorts of things. So. Um, well, I think it's probably the the way to go and just basically smash her now, just smash her from every angle and go hard on whatever losses are, um, are realised for the sale of the property, then we need to crack, um, have a crack at her insurer for any of those losses as well. So we'll just tie her up in, in litigation now forever. Um, we need to do probably the VA pretty pretty quickly. I would have thought I'd just tip it over on, um, on Wednesday after we speak with everyone on Thursday. Um, yeah, there's, there's, you know, it's, it's really the only option for, um, for the director. There's no chance of selling anything. Um, it's going to get really fucking ugly with um, <clears throat> the likes of Alan Bartlett and stuff. Um, I guess we could tip his money into the commercial and, you know, just give him a share certificate and that and say, well, we'll sell you out of this one. Don't stress. And um, we can say, listen, your money is in Bulla Bulla, but it's caught in there now. But listen, we want to honour that. We'll put your money over here. We'll give you a certificate so you've got something for you as an asset um, for your money. And then we'll, we'll honour that and um, buy him out within the first sale, inverted commas. And obviously, first sale is coming back to Mark and Kaz first. And, um, you know, it can go from there. So, um, 
cash flow though that's that's our issue like you know we've got rent on the office next week we've got no wages it's yeah that's what's going to kill us and that's where we will fall over so um we have to we have to work out what to do there that's going to be a big issue um if pbl is, a, is crucial absolutely crucial so we need to um to secure that land tomorrow come hell or high water and sign it and then um see peter won't learn too much about anything because the caveat's been lodged so um you know, unless someone's out there spruiking about it it doesn't really do anything it doesn't really mean anything i mean in 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 the bigger picture it's taking a step back you go well fuck what's the biggest issue oh well boo hoo hoo you yeah, all tipped in for property it fucking it fell over you don't like each other you got to sell it to get out and you're going to make losses yeah next that's what happens in property development you know um so the the they're going to sue us and want the share certificates fine there's your share certificates now sell them up either way it's involuntary administration the administrator can issue the share certificates we'll put it back to him so he'll be the one that chases the um um, um the pi insurance of, of of robert and nicole so we'll just go to them and we'll just turn them on to um robert and nicole and that's it so yeah it's just going to go from there um yeah but they want money they're going to want five or ten thousand bucks as well um so we're going to need PVL really is the cash flow. And then, you know, don't forget, we've got Tyler's, um, Tyler's thing. We, you know, we <laughs> literally, we will be in voluntary administration with our first development and we're selling the second one. So on stage, I don't know how we're going to get around that one. So yeah, there's a few issues we need to have a discussion about on Tuesday. Um, I'm trying to get Gunnam to the land. Well, I was, um, maybe PVL, we'll go to the PVL land tomorrow. So Gunnam and, um, Zoltan and I are going to be down there tomorrow. So, you know what, I I'd, I think they're ideal to have this discussion. So maybe we do have a crisis meeting tomorrow at, um, you know, the, the UKI pub after, um, you know, Zoltan, Gunnam and I can meet for an hour or two. I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, then maybe we all converge there um, and have lunch. What do you reckon? And then we can have the crisis meeting tomorrow, but we can actually have it with Zoltan and, and Gunnam in, in the midst of it and you know Gunnam is, is an amazing legal mind and I, this is the sort of this is the sort of shit I want to see him um, yeah see where he goes with it so let me know your thoughts sorry for the long voxer I'm thinking as I walk and talk and now I'm going to smoke